On the Horn of Africa, with around 5 million people, lies the enigmatic country of Eritrea. How has the small, multicultural nation dominated the continent of African cycling? And produce the first black African cyclists to finish the mighty Tour de France. Eritrea is a region steeped in ancient empires and history. Its more recent history is dominated by a 30-year war with neighboring Ethiopia, which yielded liberation in 1991. In remembrance of those who died during this long war, Eritreans commemorate Martyr's Day once a year that includes a candlelit procession. In many ways, the best way to understand this enigmatic country for a window into its soul is to understand its obsession with the bike. Meskina Halley is the Eritrean National Cycling Federation Secretary. He is the heart and soul of the sports racing organization in this country. The bicycle, not only we were using for uh, race, but we were using as a means of transportation also. So a bike is uh, just we using in every activity of our life. And every child wants to own bike. It is our sixth sense. It's in our blood. <laughs> ጂምርኮይና <laughs> Since 1937, Eritrea hosts its annual national cycling championships. The level of Eritrean racing was so high that between 1956 and 1972, a total of 19 Eritrean cyclists participated at the Olympic Games, albeit in Ethiopian colors. Yamani Nagasi represented Ethiopia. Eritrea was under occupation at the time at the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo and the 1968 Olympics in Mexico. The team were the only black African cyclists to take part in those Olympics. Mm -hmm. Daniel Tekle Heimano is a pioneering icon of African cycling. He is a trailblazer in the truest sense of the word, competing internationally, achieving world-class results, and going where no other black African cyclist has ever gone before. But it all came from very humble beginnings. I was really young, like European culture. Most of the people are bike at home, so just I was really like to ride a bike around 98. 
become a racer. I mean, racing in my home, in the Barwa. So I started in around 2000. I was really become one of the strongest in my city. Daniel, can we just start again? I mean, can we start again? Why not? Aliyo, Adam Daniel, Ab Zawadu Bu Bi Dwayne Ro. Hajit Magbala Qad Dimshkila Tanay Zawadu Bu. Abis La Zayna Bara Nata Ganta Amti Ab Zawam Akhl Kam Tkara Dim Gira. Ab Zawam Akhl Musam Tahu Haji Hadish Magayro Dwayne Ro. Daniel, Hadish Magayro Musna Bara Musna Tay Yaruk Allah Liyo Musna Tay Family Allah Liyo. دانيل از یه نفر تصفیه زد نبرد تا آدرد ما این سلسله هنر یعرف کوین نه تا اوج کاب زیر دیجیم مرا هجی نه به حکی کل از زخانه دانيل از یه مقلی سحق زد ببی سحق سحق زد لی سبی انتی که نبرد زفتو نبرد محض زفتو سبی دانيل It's a huge race here in Eritrea. It's really famous in us. So he was my coach from 2006 till 2009. So he was really friendly and a nice guy. He was one of the great riders in Eritrea. Uh, he was he was still my best friend. Daniel's trailblazing started early when, in 2008, he became the first Eritrean to be selected to train at the UCI Cycling Center in Switzerland. His ability to absorb knowledge there took his career to the next level. He came back a different rider. Uh, أبز حجي أوان إذا تمال أسب كوني أب يسي أي كيدو تماهيرو نبي إيرترامز متى مول أسب كوني متى؟ In 2015, Daniel was selected to ride in the Tour de France along with fellow countrymen and teammate Mahawi Kudus. They would become the first Black African cyclists to compete and finish the world's most prestigious cycling race. However, Daniel's groundbreaking achievements did not stop there. During the Tour de France, the King of the Mountains classification is awarded to the rider that gains the most points for reaching the mountain summits first. This climber gets to wear the famous red polka dot jersey. In the first week of the 2015 race, Talca Haimano became the first African rider to ever wear this jersey. For those four days when Daniel wore the polka dot jersey, his name was being mentioned in the same breath as the world's very best cyclists. Yeah, it's really a lot of pressure. It's, I can't believe it at that moment. You know, it's really excitement and, uh, yeah, it's for me, it's really, really changed. It's four days in the podium. Of course, my teammate, team, all the, all the staffs, really happy. Oh, I can't believe it. I have a lot of videos, photos from these podiums. For me, it's really, really good moment. It's because of the tour. I think everyone was watching to see uh, because uh, not one rider was participating. Eritrea was participating. Adulis kelab kau ina ina nerenirna, 
شو دانيال عبد بوديم ديفو تاعش مسكبرة عند ناير حكي نبيع بخي ده حاجة زاكل كوكاتا ترى يكالكن عبد توردا فرانس بوديم مديم مالت نحدا يرتاو حلمي كحلمو يخيل يجن كبات حجز خيل في تسعين معينة برا دانيال كن نز هي أبزي مسهلنا نقولنا إرتران صار بريسينير. The immensity of what it meant to Eritrea to have two riders finish the Tour de France, and more importantly, for Daniel to stand on the podium and wear the polka dot jersey, became clear when the riders returned to a hero's reception back in Eritrea. The size of the hero's welcome was comparable only to Eritrea's Independence Day celebrations. When I was arrived at home. It's un un unbelievable. The people is welcome. In the street was full people. For me, it's more than the winning jersey, I think, that, that moment. But Daniel's journey to success hasn't been an easy one. In 2009, Daniel had a major health scare when he was diagnosed with tachycardia whilst training in Switzerland. It could have been the end of his career, but he came back stronger and eventually signed for the world tour team, Orica Green Edge. 2009, I have some problems in my heart. The sport directors and the ACI is really worried about that. And then they asked me to, to take operation or it's back home. Like a normal life, I can't ride the bike. So I say, I didn't tell my family, friends, anyone. I say, I get operation. I say operation, then I wait three months without bike, any bike. The operation is really great. Luckily, I was, it's okay. Racing in Europe meant Daniel had to leave his wife and family behind. I meet in 2010, the end of season in my hometown. Now it's almost seven years together, and uh, we get a baby last year. And then when I jumped professional, also I was in Europe and she was here. It's really a bit hard. In 2016, whilst participating at the Olympics, Daniel's father passed away in Eritrea. He was a role model for Daniel and was a key supporter of his career. Yeah, he's always wanted to be a great rider. I didn't uh, forget him. 2015, the beginning of the season about the team. Team was uh, riding the Tour de France. His first question is, did you ride the Tour? Yeah, I say, it's still long list, we don't know. But he was really excited. Last year, I see him, they like, like after nationals, it's my last time I see my father. Yeah, I win the trophy and uh, uh, I give him and then I say bye bye. And I didn't see him my last time. During the Olympics, he was passed away. I don't know, but yeah, after the, the Olympics, they told me when I was back to Italy, yeah, he was already, he was already gone. aspects of Eritrean cycling culture that give their athletes a competitive advantage. It is widely believed that the lean physiology of Eritrea's riders has contributed to its cycling success. Uh, 
حدن عصری عمت بعلنا تنا تزمت آن لو زنا برای لگزی عمر ویت هات بار نی ایلی انجام تام تی آنی را نعام سیره زو تعود کو عود عبایی را مانی اتون مجمر تا گزی آبیار ترا فورینر قدردم تمتیم مسوم تعور را دیر سعر کلا عبای هیام نیرا عبدمه آتی قدردم مشکل تا کابتی کاب هیوتک لگسوز زیاد ل نگاری سلزی از نای کوچی برنامه آتی I hope Adam and his family are professional coach. Competing in bike races is pivotal to a cyclist's development. Learning these tactics can only be forged in the heat of a race. Fortunately, Eritrea has a very strong racing culture thanks to a dedicated team of passionate administrators. Organizing cycling is normal in Eritrea because we have developed it as a culture to organize races every Sunday. Not only with the national championship, but various kinds of races. When I see riders always want uh, a race and uh, you want also to organize for them because they make them happy. We organize ourselves, not an, in a company of organizer or some other uh, paid organizers. Uh, as a federation, it is very, very difficult. It, is, it has many tasks, but when you have a passion, everything is possible in us. In Eritrean cycling, role models are crucial. No athlete exists in isolation. Each generation stands on the shoulders of the one that came before. Most importantly, the younger athletes need to learn firsthand from the professionals. The riders like Daniel or the other uh, personas, they want to show the kids, the children, even the other riders, the, the good things in sports, in how to behave. They are the good models for them, and uh, they want to show that how they can win, how they can get the success, just to follow the good disciplines. So they are their teachers. Daniel was uh, racing here in our uh, local races for many years. Every rider knows how he has got that kind of uh, success, so they want to, to follow like him. او هنچ اسیتی قندی معنیت کل سب ندانیل فکاسیریو زبو عزم علتی بمولو تقدر دمای دانیل ابهی و تن در دان لوت جیر بمولو تقدر دمای لوت خم دگر بر آمین نه دانیل قوزه قوز. Even the child who has who is five years old at this time, it's normal to reach in Tour de France. So you will see also how many riders will be. Professionals after some years, a lot. I expect a lot. In Africa, they are really talented. If they get the chance, it's really, really great riders here. Daniel, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm 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 going to نگان تانا ملو عتقی ملو ماتریال آمتیو نربعت عمد بتصفف کم تخید گیروا بزح نگر مویلو عملی تسلزی نه دانیل نگر قبل از تقلا دم تنه ایرتر آزیو زمیسکن نگری مالی One of the advantages of being back home training is the lack of distraction. My 
It is very prestigious for a cyclist to win their national championships. If they do win, they get to wear a special jersey emblazoned with their country's flag in all the international races they compete in for the following 12 months. This honor means that all riders want to compete in their national championships. And it is no different for Daniel, even though he has been the national time trial champion four times. This year, he has returned from Europe for three weeks to train especially for this event. It is uh, one of the holidays that makes together for all riders of Eritrea in one day. You will see how many people will watch in that place. We will expect a lot of crowds, especially in the sprint area. In the Taudid Derman, Sarahamanai, Felit and Abd Kronometer. Each cyclist needs a support structure in order to achieve. This crowdfunded success is heavily dependent on family and friends. Yeah, really friends, really close friends, these guys. They help me, all motivation here. I ask them what, whatever I want to, to help me. So I was really thankful to be their support. I think uh, there are many factors that the riders make success. The family's support, his, his own effort, his club's effort, his coach's effort. This all contributions help the rider to become a success. The time trial is an individual race against the clock. Riders set off every three minutes on their own with the aim of completing the two-lap course in the fastest time possible. It is basically a sprint for 38 kilometers, a real test of power and stamina. It's really hard. I can't say it's not, if you have legs, you know, I mean, it's not easy. It's uh, attack each other. It's not easy always. As the current champion, Daniel goes down the start ramp last. He is the big favorite to win the race and defend the title. The key challenges come from his Team Dimension Data teammates. Unbeknownst to the big crowds and commentators, a quarter of the way into the race, at the first turn, Daniel's bike skids on some loose dirt and he crashes. Uh, the circuit is not easy to catch up the, the time again. Yeah, I'm okay, but yeah, maybe the excitement is Another thing, but the cycling, sometimes you win and sometimes you fall down. Yeah. 
Despite the pain, Daniel still finishes third overall. His teammate, Mekseb Debese, wins the title for the first time in his career. My excitement is to win the first place, but I crash and I, I finish the race, no fracture, no problem. And I'm happy to be win by, by my teammates. We are top three. Same team, so I was really, really happy for him to this title. So yeah, he was really great rider as well, and uh, I was wishing best in the in the future. Mekseb's sister Mosana wins the elite women's title, and his younger brother Jakob wins the junior men's race. It is an incredible achievement for the Debesay family. For all of us, it has a meaning when you win in front of your fans, in front of your friends, in front of your families, because you want to show them your achievements. You have many supporters from your families, friends, everything, and you want to show them your success. Daniel's trailblazing has given Eritrean youngsters a vision on how to reach the top levels of professional cycling and also helped focus international attention on the talent back in Eritrea. His success has opened up a two-way interaction between Eritrean cycling and the world. The future of Eritrean cycling is bright, but it needs support. <laughs> Especially in Vishkilata, as you meet you, both as a Zona, Tommy Vishkilata, the good Vishkilata of Korsavat, Nets, Yamal Ertra, Investors Gobro, as you to Bonnier or Evil Animal. Cabidin is with the Dirt by any Ertra, Trialla, as you can be the Magnet on Trubla Cats and Aho, come Kabel Matas, Ajim Mirka, Zeta Hunt. Gorzhe, <laughs> 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 <laugh